So, so now we're actually inside of the, pan, uh, the Painted Camel Bazaar. Uh, this is the main retail venue of Pantopia, and it's actually run by Akbar. So the uh, outside sign of the Painted Camel Bazaar is a camel that Akbar used to transport goods from around the world to here to resell to the travelers of Pantopia and the visitors of Pantopia. Um, and it's called Painted Camel because Akbar liked to drape his camel with various cloths and fabric from around the world. So people would say, there goes that shiny painted camel again. So that's why it's called the Painted Camel. And then Akbar had a really good mon little primate monkey friend um, that was very naughty and mischievous who would often steal the keys from around Pantopia and bring them back here to the store. Um, so the sign, you'll see the Painted Camel draped in his fabric with a monkey on top holding a key. And that is the story of the Painted Camel Bazaar. Um, so Akbar kind of gave up on this tourism business he had down there with the tours he was selling. He shut that business down and now he's reopened his office and shop here, which is kind of cool. So I'm going to run through actually the images you see here, but everything you're seeing are actually physical props that were imported or constructed um, from historical reference photos to actually be used here in Pantopia. Um, so I'm going to run through uh, sort of clockwise here and talk about the buildings. Um, this elevation is a, is a hand-painted watercolor that these are some of the original uh, designs that we did uh, to share and convey what Pantopia could look like to to our to our friends here at the park and our leadership and everywhere. So everybody, you know, they got really excited about it. And it's actually color. Everything's a color story now. Instead of the Western Moroccan or Western African style of Timbuktu, that's all gone as we explore new imaginative lands and more imaginative stories here at Bush Gardens, Tampa. But all rooted in nature and discovery and, and animal stories, of course. Um, you see the colors go from eggplant to cold to hot. And that's exactly what's going to happen. The cold is cold because that's actually operated by Frosty Christolos, who is a uh, Greek who flew an airplane to Antarctica and back, um, and also the Arctic to explore the cold regions of the world. His plane came back to the transportation hub, couldn't get it started again, so he turned the plane into the sign for the store. And his plane, which was called Lynx Airlines, is now called Lynx Frozen Treats, which is a new culinary offering here at Pantopia. Uh, they sell smoothies and snow cones. And the color story starts to change, starts to get hot as we go into Komodo Dragon, red hot fire plates, which will then move right into um, our, can't see it here, you see a bigger image later, moves right into our new outdoor grill, which will sell uh, meat on sticks, kebabs, and that is the Dragon Fire Grill. Um, and that's how that kind of color story all kind of wraps around. Um, this is the elevation that we just walked by outside of the Painted Camel Bazaar, and you'll see the, the color changes and everything is happening, a lot of textures, key influences are in everything. Uh, keys of Pantopia are very important. And then the jeweled crowns, or tiaras I call them, of the buildings. So the buildings are really draped in all these shiny, reflective objects to make them beautiful and shiny and, and eclectic and fun. Uh, moving around, you can start to see some of the real artifacts that will actually be in the, in the actual uh, land outside. Um, and into, we so, talked about this already, we'll move to these two. So this is an influence and flavor board that was developed uh, particularly for the store of what we wanted the store to look and feel like. Um, and so for a year, our visual teams and our creative teams and our prop master have been selecting props from around the world to fill the store up. And these props will be used as the retail fixtures as well. So it's a really new way of really looking at retail for us and something that our, our, our guests here at Bush Gardens Tampa have not seen before. Um, this is the West Gate. So this gate is actually located over at Congo or over by the bumper park area. Um, so it's paint has already started. Um, the prayer flags all represent the animals from, uh, from Pantopia and from Bush Gardens. And then last but not least is probably one of my favorite things um, is the new Grand Carousel tent. So it's in paint right now. Um, that is getting a lot of attention and a lot of gilded, textured, golden, rich tones and, and flavors to really make it look like a big caravan tent. Uh, with the carousel underneath it. So one of the original attractions of the park is getting a facelift as well, uh, along with the brand new attraction of Falcon's Fury. Um, so with that, I will stop talking and leave you guys any questions you have. I have one. Yeah. The, the menu at the new uh, Fire Eaters Grill? No, it's Dragon Fire Grill. Dragon Fire Grill. Um, is it replacing the current menu that's in the... So it's addition. So this is oh, basically okay. a grab-and-go out front. It's a big open flame barbecue pit. Okay. So um, you'll see it. It's kind of like we have over at Smokehouse mm -hmm. over at uh, Shikra. So, but it's not selling barbecue. It's selling more mobile foods. Right. Uh, food on sticks, that's okay. what I call it. Um, I wanted to sell it on swords, but we couldn't get that worked out. So it's food <laughs> on sticks. 
but the uh, but yeah, it's it's all sort of walk up, grab, and walk around. So okay. it's big kebabs. Okay. What you think. And then the, the menu, the inside of Desert Desert Grill uh, will remain as it looks today. Okay. 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 The inside of the main restaurant will be relatively the same. Will yeah, there be changes to the dinner shows or anything like that? Will be Will there be new shows? In typical, I believe, in typical fashion, uh, the entertainment team here cycles those shows out constantly every summer. So I expect to see new shows going there as well. And then Critter Castaways moves to the theater, the old 40 theater, which is being remodeled right now into our Critter Castaways show, which will have a new name. Are we, is the name out? Travis? Yes, Opening Night Critters. Opening Night Critters. And so it's based <laughs> on the story. It's, fauna, it's, it's, it's Pantopia Theater, and um, it's the opening night of the, of the big show in Pantopia with animals from around the world. So it fits our theme here of Pantopia, and it, not everything goes as planned. So it's a good comedy show with all with the same critters and animals you've seen us use before.